What's up everyone, this is Cybernad, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Literary Duelist Immortal Destiny packs, and see if we can get some evil heroes. I have no idea. I, I got a few packs, as you guys can see, just a couple, you know. <laughs> so, we'll see. I don't know. I kind of wonder if I'll have better luck just getting some booster packs versus a box. That's, that's kind of my thought process, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I know that the evil heroes are really tough to get from this set, but I still want to get them, and I want to do a deck profile. But like I told one of you guys that I uh, met at the YCS, that I might just have to do a deck profile on like Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, or even use my Japanese cards or, or something, because I think I have all of them and uh, from the Japanese boxes. So we'll see about that. If you guys would like that, if I still can't get the evil heroes, let me know, because I don't want to spend, I don't know, three hundred dollars on just a playset of the two evil heroes I need. We'll see. But yeah, also to go along with this opening, I got the brand new playmat that is from Imperium Duelist. As you guys can see, it is a full-size cloth playmat. Same quality that you would expect from Imperium Duelist, and it looks awesome. It even fits our theme today because it has the Millennium Ring on it. So I thought, you know what? This all goes together. They sent me this to make a video on too. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's mirrored on the other side. It looks really awesome, and uh, yeah, I like the colors and all that too. It has a black backing on it as well. And they also sent me these sleeves. So check out their new sleeves. I, uh, these are, yeah, white sleeves on that. They've been pretty good quality as well. So link to all that in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get from our packs. Again, hopefully some good luck. I mean, with the Millennium Ring here, maybe I can channel some of that luck from it or something. Or evil power. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Whatever works, seriously. <laughs> what, what do I have to do? Share your energy with me. Let's see. Moon Dragon, Dark Necrofear, well, that kind of goes together then, right? Then Terror Baby. Obviously not guaranteed a hollow, by the way, if you didn't know. Humpty Dumpty, Dark Calling. Then Earthbound Immortal, got our Giant. The only thing that worries me, too, is because it's not a box, I hope we get hollows. <laughs> I'm a little worried about that. Evil Hero Malicious Fiend. Close. It's an evil hero. Ah, oh, I was hoping maybe there'd be one in there. Dark Sanctuary. And you know what? I wouldn't be mad if I could also get, like, the uh, Dark Necrofear, the new version of it. That would be also cool. Oh man, I thought I called it. <laughs> well, we got Ascator uh, Dawn Walker. At least we got an Ultra Rare. I'll take it. Uh, that's one of the uh, the new 5Ds cards. Help you bring out Sun Dragon, basically. I think these are pretty cool. I think they're a little bit underrated. They're not as powerful as some of the other ones, but for fun, I definitely want to try them out. So, it's pretty cool. And it is an Ultra. Starving Venom. Thought maybe I called that Dark Necrofear, though. Because that's another card I haven't gotten from this set yet. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah, it is that one. Awesome. <laughs> well, we got the Predator Plant. Uh, I don't know how you say his name. I, just like I've said in the other times, I'm not even going to attempt it. But this card is amazing. It saved my butt even at the YCS. So not enough for me to win, of course, the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it actually did save me at one of the side events. So definitely recommend. I mean, they went with the full combo and everything. Had some scary dark monsters in their side of the field. It's like, hey, super polymerization. And I get a monster out of it. So that is really good to get. And Terror Baby. Probably like the only way I could have gotten out of that, because they went guard dragons and, oh gosh, <laughs> everything. Everything you could think of was just like, oh, I'm in a mess. But I wasn't for very long with Super Polymerization in that card. Oh, dang, all those, like, evil heroes there. I was hoping maybe that meant something. Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. I'm at least having good luck getting that fusion. If anything, from all these openings I've done, I get that fusion. So that's good. Still surprised that one's not like the, the chase card. Junk Puppet. Then Predator Prime Fusion. Alright, heard of the cards, help me out here. Magnet Doll. Fire Ant, okay. <laughs> and then Supreme King's Castle. Remember to hit that like button too. I might need some of your energy. <laughs> I need some good luck from you guys. We'll see. Doom Caliber Knight. Then. Ah, oh, man. I keep hoping for a hollow every time there. Preta Planning. Alright. Come on, Evil Heroes. Dark Calling. 
Die bound. <laughs> Starving Venom. Still say it's ridiculous those evil heroes are that tough to get. That is just insane. At least the, the reprints aren't, right? <laughs> uh, Malicious Fiend. Zoma the Spirit. Perform Puppet. Only a few packs left, by the way. Come on. Let's at least see a couple more hollows. Got another Preta plant. Then, well, Gimme Puppet Mistal. I'll take it. At least it's a hollow, right? Gimme Puppets from this set are pretty awesome, too, and they're going to get more support in uh, not the next set, not Chaos Impact, but the one after that. I can't think of its name right now, but we already know we're at least getting one new Gimmick Puppet card from that, and like one for Chronomalies. Chronom Bleh. Can't say it. <laughs> and uh, even uh, Hurlic Beasts and stuff, too. So, pretty interesting, and I got to say, they're a lot of fun to play. Not as competitive, of course, but fun. So, that counts for something. That is a good card to get from this set, too. And Evil Mind. It's kind of one of those things like, yeah, I might not get the Evil Heroes, but at least I'm getting some cards I like from this set. So, got a, you know, glass half full or half empty kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I still have a chance, though. We'll see. I shouldn't give up yet. Maybe I should. <laughs> Fred of Planning. Card of the cards. Come on. At least give me something I don't have. I'll at least take that, you know? Infernal Gainer. Junk Puppet. Spring King's Castle. Alright. There. Zoma the Spirit. Infernal Gainer. Then? Well, okay. At least it's an Ultra. I thought it was. I can at least tell that. Of course, I knew it went to Fusion. Uh, it is Earthbound uh, Greater Line Walker. I've had good luck getting this one, at least, too. Uh, I don't know really what to think too much on the 5D support. I, I think it looks cool because I like Sun and Moon Dragon. I always thought they were cool. But, uh, yeah, I hadn't really tested them out, you know, like the new support. So, might have to. I I've gotten, like, everything, I think, for them. <laughs> I've had good luck with them, at least. They like me more than Evil Heroes. And Preta Prime Fusion. And, yeah, we're down to our last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Can we end with a Hollow? I can say that. Can we have an evil hero? You know what? Let's just ask for what we what we really want to try to get from this set. Let's see. Or Dark Necrofear. I'll, I'll take that. The, the new one. Heart of the Cards. It's the new one. Okay? <laughs> I know they're going to give me the common because I said it. I just don't remember its exact name. <laughs> so, I, I should be more specific. Dury Doll. There's but a mortal. Subpay. Then... Well, we ended with the hollow. I'll take it. Okay. Dark Spirit of Malice. I can't say too much. At least I got a Bakura card as well, because hadn't seen any hollows from Bakura, and we got a planet that's kind of themed for him. And then even Perform Puppet. So, yeah, unfortunately, no evil heroes. I knew it would be a slim chance, but you gotta try. You gotta roll the dice, you know? But at least out of this, I got a couple of Ultra Rares. I got another one of that Fusion. At, at least that card likes me. Seriously, I'm still shocked that that's not, like, the toughest card yet. I kind of thought that when this was first announced over here. I was like, oh, boy. But... Let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me if you've had good luck. Maybe you've already gotten all the Evil Heroes, and if so, congrats to you, seriously. <laughs> but I I'm pretty sure this won't be my last opening this set either. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so uh, you don't miss out on anything. And then also, too, I should mention this with the playmat. You also get one of these uh, bags as well that you put the playmat in. So thought I would show that off. You know, simple design, and uh, yeah, they always come in handy. Make sure your playmat is safe. So, <laughs> thought I should mention that, but check out this playmat too. Works out really well with the whole theme, uh, and of course, this set. And uh, yeah, I plan on using this at the next event I go to. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.